Shalom. This week's Sedra is Tzav. I'd like to share an idea with the, about the Sedra with you. This week's Sedra continues the discussion about animal offerings. The Torah portion opens with the mitzvah of the burnt offering. Hashem told Moshe, command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. That, the, that is the burnt offering which burns on the altar all night until morning, and the fire of the altar shall burn with it. In his commentary to this Pasuk, Rashi explained that this passage comes to teach us that the burning of the sacrificial fats and parts of an animal is valid throughout the entire night following the day it is offered up. In other words, if you do it at 5 p.m., you can burn it the entire night that night. The Rambam explained how the burnt offering was conducted. This gets a little detailed, so hold your stomach. The burnt offering is brought by slaughtering the animal and casts its blood, skins it, cuts it into pieces, and offers all the pieces on the fire of the altar. It is interesting to note that there were parts burning all night long. While there is plenty of action during the day in the base of Mikdash, at night there is no one to see the service. As we learned last week, the offerings are part of the avoda, avoda in English is service, in the base of Mikdash. What aspect of the avoda takes place at night? In reality, nothing much. The nighttime is an especially meaningful time for the service of God. While service usually connotes offerings, there is no greater service than service of God, excuse me, than Torah study. Our sages even stated, "What is the service of the heart? Torah study." In Perkei Avos, Rachanina, the son of, of Chanichai, is quoted as saying, "One who stays awake at night and turns his, uh, his heart to idleness, meaning he just starts fooling around and doing nothing." has forfeited his life. Wasting time from Torah study at night is a most egregious error. The Rambam wrote that even though it is a mitzvah to study Torah during the day and at night, it is only at night that a person acquires most of his wisdom. Therefore, a person who desires to merit the crown of Torah should be careful with all his nights, not giving up even one night to sleep, food, drink, talk, or the like. Rather, they should be devoted to the study of Torah and the words of wisdom. Our sages declared, The song of Torah can be heard only at night. Whoever occupies himself with Torah study at night will have a strand of chesed, of divine favor, extended over him during the day. In contrast, any house in which the words of Torah cannot be heard at night will be consumed by fire. The night is a specially meaningful time for the service of God because it is generally a time of fear. Without light, man feel, feels lost and scared of the unknown. The anecdote of fear is faith in God, but not the faith of the blind, not the just automatic acceptance and trust, but of the knowing. In studying Torah and performing other service of God at night, man becomes more aware and knowledgeable of God and is confident in the awareness of God's existence. In a lonely, dark Jerusalem night, the sight of the burning offering in the Beis HaMikdash would inspire all of Jerusalem throughout the night. Services of God extends especially throughout the night. Shabbat Shalom.